We came to UC San Diego because we thought it had great possibilities. And through an invitation from Henry Booker, who had been a professor of mine at Cornell University as an undergraduate, he mentioned that there was a new school starting up, that there was focus on technology and science as well as the broad academic subjects. And so it sounded like a very exciting opportunity. When we first came, there was Uri Hall, and the next day I went to see it, and the grass was already out there, and the next day I went, and the wall was already built, and I, I was just totally amazed by the speed in which things happened uh, in California and in the development. So it was fun. It was great to be part of it. Herb York was a very special chancellor, and it was a great pleasure to have him there when the university was really just getting going. We've been very supportive, of course, of the School of Engineering, and I had originally taught in engineering. As the Dean of Engineering, I am thrilled that the school has reached the rank of nine in just uh, four years. Erwin and Joan had direct impact in making that happen. Erwin and Joan are a true gift to our students. They add incredibly generous philanthropy with the Jacob Scholars. They not only take care of the students uh, with the financial support, but with that emotional support and with the gentle advice that they give them. Indeed, they meet with the students on a regular basis. COVID or not, we'll do it online if necessary in order to make that personal connection. And believe me, it makes a difference. The Jacobs have shown deeply how not just generosity counts, but vision and character. I remember when Dohosa first proposed Fallen Star, and there was a lot of, oh, this can never be done. You know, this is impossible. But Joan and Irwin, after a moment's hesitation, stepped right in, gave it their full backing, and it made all the difference. It really did. And so together, we accomplished the impossible, which, of course, Fallen Star has become probably the most popular visit on campus. I came to San Diego because of the inspirational conversations I had with the Jacobs. And they both articulated this bold vision for San Diego as a home for new and innovative art, innovative sciences, and the top of the medical establishment was going to make their home here. No one is more responsible than Joan and Irwin for the successes that the Playhouse has had. They've been involved with the Playhouse for decades. They plant seeds that take, the grow trees of success in, in years and decades to come. And along with that long-term vision, they're also capable of moving on a dime. I mean, they're capable of moving so quickly when they get excited about an idea. Um, think about committee meetings with Joan, where she is playful and wise and always the eye on what's best for the future of the Playhouse. They have this incredible forward-looking vision. Once I became Dean of the School of Global Policy and Strategy, which back then was called the School of International Relations and Pacific Studies, we began a conversation about the future of the school. And in the usual manner of Joan and Irwin, they thought about it not just as an academic institution in its own narrow path, but how it fit within the larger context of an evolving San Diego. And those conversations led us down a path of mutual discovery to some programs that they have really become the cornerstone of support for at the school. I don't think there's a single couple anywhere in the United States that has made a bigger contribution to quality of life than Irwin and Joan Jacobs has had to make to San Diego. They're not just generous, but they're transformative. They really make their investments count. If you look at the Jacobs Medical Center, it was a transformative building. It changed the way we do healthcare in San Diego. I don't think we would be able to have anywhere close to the breadth and depth of reach that we have in the region and providing uh, some of the most complex care without the Jacobs Medical Center and without the Jacobs support that really led to the development of, of our health campus here in La Jolla. Joan and Irwin had a vision for providing world-class health care 
and connecting science and clinical care to create a place where it could all come together and provide healthcare services unlike anyone else in the region. One of the more subtle, but in many ways, I think most spectacular things that Jacobs have done, in addition to the Jacobs Medical Center building, has been Joan's interest in art and the healing power of art. She made a commitment that the Jacobs Medical Center would have spectacular art. And it really makes it a welcoming place. It really changes it from a sterile hospital to a place that, that's really enjoyable. I don't know that this hospital would have been built without them. So I'm just incredibly honored to be able to sit in this Jacobs Medical Center and I'm so grateful I can look across the, the bridge on the other side and know that Erwin and Joan are there and um, caring so much about the community and um, just thank them so much for their contributions. The Jacobs family legacy at UC San Diego is wide. I can see we've got the Jacobs College of Engineering, we've got the Jacobs Medical Center. A lot of other spaces at UC San Diego are named after the family. But I think the biggest legacy that we look for is the students and the graduate students. As the Chancellor has said, we will need to be a student-focused university to create the future of society. You can see that through the Jacobs Fellows, both at the engineering that my parents do, and the Jacobs Fellows in the social science division that Gary and I do. And we need to provide the resources for students to come to UC San Diego and get that quality education. So Joan and Irwin, uh, I know you're here watching this video. Uh, I know I've said thank you to you many times, but maybe it's not clear how deeply and how sincerely I mean it. So one more time, Joan and Irwin, thank you for your generosity Thank you for your support for UC San Diego, and most importantly, thank you for supporting me and this institution.